maybe you could riff on this a little bit. Uh, Ander asked, um, I'm not entirely sure what the question is, but I, I think I have it. It's what tendon talk about some tendencies in mixing and production of today's music. Are you seeing any trends of the way things are headed, the way things are sounding? Obviously, we've talked yeah. a lot about how you think about things and how I think about things sonically, aesthetically, but do you have are you seeing anything this year, last year, anything you're thinking about generally with like what you're liking, what you're not liking or just thoughts? Two things that come to mind that I don't yeah. like. Um I haven't heard much that I like except for vocal approaches that I keep hearing that are coming out of some young, young kids. And I'm like, that's tight. Like, like what? what? What are they doing? What are you, what are you hearing? I, I really, I'm, I'm obsessed with this 24 karat golden mood record. I'm obsessed with it. He's so great. Um, I did it. I wrote a couple songs with him. He's, he's fantastic. Sick. He's, he's really impressing me and like giving me this nostalgic feeling that, I haven't gotten from pop music in a while and I kind of love pop music and I've gotten so far out of it, even though I make it um, and I like making it. I don't really like listening to a lot of it. This one hit me and it's because of the vocal approach. The beat's sick and um, Blake and Omer who produced it um, are fantastic and I love the beat, uh, but the vocal, like it just feels like it was effortless and, and, and not thought through and whether it was or not is you know, I, I'm, the point. I'm confident it was not that it wasn't thought through in any negative way, but just effortless is the right effortless. effortless. So, so that, that, uh, that's what I've been hearing that I like, but when it comes to mixing and production, I'm like, I'm not feeling the 808 without the kick vibe. Yeah. Um, and the kick is there like doing its part. I'm like, can that just hit a little bit harder? I understand. I gotta say that's weird to me too. It's weird it's to, weird me, to I mean, me too. It, 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 it has worked on like um rock star. I think somehow kind of works. I think the song is so great, but, but, it could, but the, it, I think it would be just this much better an impact on smaller devices and like totally. work and translate more with a little bit more. So that's something I'm not feeling. And I'm wondering why it's there. Um, and then the other is the, the mixers mixing, for radio uh with that dense top end compression always so it always sounds like it's on the radio when yeah. people aren't even listening to music on the radio because people aren't in their cars well this is this is where your aesthetic i think is is so great when you when you're streaming things and one of those khalid mixes come on it, it hits harder the transients are clear like everything harder. about it is better it, it hits harder but it's less compressed it's uh it's a it's different than you know the radio compression traditionally if people don't know but like it's your radio stations put tons of multi-band compression on their shit yes. and so people started mixing to try to get a little bit of that effect and it's unnecessary yes. now streaming is just taken over yeah so i'm having a hard time within it and it's a lot of the time i'm still winning more than i'm losing a, a, a mix which is good news but when i lose it it's because when i don't get the gig and i want to say lo losing that's like something i'm i don't like that word but yeah. when i don't get the the song um it's because the rough had no transients and when i bring dynamics to it it just doesn't sound like theirs so they're not used to it or yeah. something or it's it's always the it's always the time where it doesn't work out um because yeah I don't, so those are the two things that i'm the tendencies that i'm like i don't really understand why they're happening non-dynamic top end on a vocal like it sounds like it's on the radio on spotify is unnecessary it's um, weird radio is, it's weird sounding so those are the two um and they boggle my mind and i think about them and i listen to it and i study it and i'm like why is that mixer unnamed mixer doing that i'm sure there's a reason they're legends um there's a couple that come to mind it's not just one person um so whoever thinks that they know what i'm talking about you probably don't and um and i respect the the consistency factor because it's happening always so i'm like well are you in a different room than we're used to you being in and do you still get paid if your mix doesn't get chosen yeah hell yeah i worked uh, only if you're only if you're mixing I don't on do, spec i don't do mixes on spec don't do mixes on yeah, spec i don't do that sorry anymore. i mean do it in your early if you're trying to impress an a and r or a manager and kind of get your foot in the door sure as soon as, soon as you cannot do it don't do it yeah, yeah. no um, um we got a, we got about a minute left yeah um i think we probably call but it those here. but those two things they come to mind because they're they're bold choices they're not like someone's doing this by accident um the other tendencies I'm, i i think are by accident uh based on rushed deadlines and things like that and spider have a spec mix for i would do it for you spider but yeah let's go uh let's call it that was great let's talk about finishing next week